How much of this do you think it's uh, uh, coronavirus and, you know, whatever's going on with U.S. and China? How much of this do you think is China saying, you know what, screw you, U.S. You're playing this hardball with me. I'm going to come and bully you in a whole different way that you won't even pay attention to it. How much, how much credibility do you give to that? 5%? 1%? I'm not going to answer that question, but I am going to answer the question in a different way. Because I'm Christian at heart and I like to think that nobody would want to kill people. I will say this much. And if you're listening, write it down. In late November, word had already gotten off of the mainland that there was a virus in Wuhan. On January the 15th, the U.S. trade bill was signed. Phase one. December the 15th, excuse me. December the 15th. I had a whole month off. December the 15th. Six weeks later, the trade truce was signed with an out clause. A very clever out clause that the Chinese made sure was in there, that said if there was any kind of act of God, pandemic, then they didn't have to make good on what they had committed to buy from the United States. Within days, they announced the first coronavirus. So did the Chinese know damn well that this thing was running around the world for six weeks before they shut down Wuhan? Yes, they did. Is that criminal? Yes, it is. Does it deserve to go in front of a world tribunal? Yes, it does. Because we know that it was the unfettered travel that made this thing a global phenomenon that was impossible to contain. Six weeks they knew, but they wanted that out clause. And then they underreported what happened in Wuhan, which a toddler could tell you based on what happened in Italy, based on what's happened in Germany and in France and now in the UK with Boris Johnson in the ICU. There's no way in a city the size of New York, 11 million people, that there were so few cases. It's impossible with similar density to New York. So the World Health Organization should be held accountable for not holding China accountable to providing good valid data so that the rest of the world could prepare for fewer people to die. And that's what you're talking about. To me, these are equivalents to acts of war on the part of China. And then, equally, whether you're talking about NPR or Fox News, most major media outlets on both sides of the aisle came out and reassured the United States that it was just the flu. Within 24 hours, of South Korea's first case being reported, the United States' first case was reported. And what we did was dither. We sat on it for six weeks and tried to reassure the public that nothing was happening. Somebody should be held accountable for that because somebody in the United States intelligence community has to have known what was truly going on in Wuhan. We don't have a CIA for nothing. And yet we told Americans for six weeks while South Korea was testing everybody and shutting the country down that it was just going to be the flu. So there are a lot of responsible bodies right now that have taken us to the point where we're at, inside the country and in China. And they need to be held accountable. So you don't even have to get on the discussion as to whether or not that was, this was a manufactured virus and set upon the world. You don't even have to go that far. If we find that in future investigations, then that needs to be prosecuted. But if we just ascertain what is known and a known hushed up secret that the Chinese knew for six weeks about the virus before saying anything on the global stage to get a trade deal signed, somebody needs to look into that because countless lives have been lost as a result. The damages are in the tens of trillion dollars. We're not talking about small here, if that's the case. No, we're not. And we're talking about people losing their family members, and we're talking about trillions of, we're talking about suicides in the future, we're talking about economic hardship. All of this could have been mitigated had China been honest and had the World Health Organization made China accountable. Because at first they said it's not. It's not anything to worry about when who first came, when the WHO first came out and said uh, we don't need to stop every. Let me ask you who, do you, who do you trust the least, Iran, Russia, or China? China. China's got more economic power. 
because of that or because they don't have a free press and because we can't really know what the hell is going on over there? Well, that's just a kicker, but you don't really know what's going on in Iran either. You had global satellite images in Iran showing mass graves. Iran underreported the same. And you can't tell me that in the cold of winter that Russia has as many cases as it's reporting. But at last check, China's 17 percent of global GDP. They can throw more money around than anybody else. And you just mentioned two of their allies, by the way. So that's why I asked it the way I did. And the largest uh. contiguous land border on the planet, by the way, between Russia and China.